So we have our blank canvas, and one thing we'd like to know, and we've done before, is uh, the width and height of our canvas. And I think it's time to introduce something called a callback. And what a callback will do is, in any change to the surface, even on, on create, it will report back and call back to your activity. So our activity game loop 002, any changes. And you can pick up on those changes and assign them to local variables and use them. Probably best I'll just show you how to use a callback and you'll understand it a bit better. So if we go into our activity game loop 002, we can say it's already implementing runnable, but we also want to implement a surface holder callback. And Android Studio is helpfully asking us if we want to implement the methods, and we'll do that. And here they are. And I'll go through those in a moment. The next thing you need to do is, in your constructor, is apply the callback to your class. And we'll just add callback to this class. So any callbacks will go back to this class. If we look at the methods that have been implemented and overridden, what we want is a surface change. So as soon as the screen is created or, or uh, portrayed or landscaped, it will return these values. And we can take advantage of this by setting, uh, let's say, a, I want to call it a height equal to the height that's being passed in and a width equal to the width that's being passed in. We'll just add these variables. We'll just declare these variables at the top. That's why they're red at the moment. We'll add them just here. Well, how do we know that we've got the correct values? I'm going to draw a ball at the coordinates that have been returned by the callback. So if we can find our draw method, here it is. I'm just going to slip in a uh, draw circle and here we have the width, C width and C height that the callbacks given us. I'm going to use a red paintbrush fill brush and I'm going to make it 10 density pixels in radius. Let's hit save and run. And as expected, the center of our red circle is at the coordinates width, comma, height. That's how you use a callback and that's how we've tested our width and height variables that will come in very handy. Thanks for watching.